Right, the first muscle are like elevated muscles, muscle which is produce elevations. The first muscle are like we call it as a trapezius muscles. Trapezius. Basically, trapezius consists of three fibers. Trapezius consists of three fibers upper fiber, middle fiber, and also lower fiber of trapezius, upper traps. The first fiber, yang penting untuk elevation, I like to find it upper fiber of trapezius. Upper fiber of trapezius. Upper fiber of trapezius, basically, they have origin. From where? From this area first. This is your occipital bones. Occipital bone. You have, you can see certain one line project midline project throughout your occipital bone inferiorly so this kind of line at the ridge this we call as an external occipital protuberance external occipital protuberance right and from here this trapezius i can extend downward and i can attach pada mana pada you all punya c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and c6 but eventually this trapezius is not directly attached to this area, bukan? Because why? Because the antara C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, and C6 in it basically because there is one ligament attached. Ligament attached to this area. And that ligament kita panggil sebagai ligamentum nuke. Ligamentum nuke. So which is, your trapezius bukan attached to this process, but attached to this process. They attach to the attached to the ligament. It's logical. Right? Here, you can see a ligament attached. So this trapezius attached to that ligament. Am I right? They are not attached to the structure, no. They are attached to the ligament. And that ligament is called the ligamentum nuke. Or the nuclear of ligaments, right? So, so origin of your uh, trapezius, so long similar, one external occipital protuberance, extend <coughs> downward, you can see this is your ligamentum nuke. Ligamentum nuke attached to the C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, and C, C6. C6. And the last attachment untuk your punya upper fiber yes. of trapezius attached pada C7. 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 So ada three origins untuk your punya upper fiber of trapezius. Ligament uh, ox, ox, EOP, external occipital protuberance, ligamentum nu, K, dan the last one anda C7 of C7 C7 cervical vertebrae nombor nombor tujuh lah. Seven cervical vertebrae. Okay. And from here, this is the origin of your middle fiber of sorry, upper fiber of trapezius. From here, this muscle are running downward obliquely and attach into your clavicle. Here. You can imagine this muscle machine. Mm. Right? Yes. From here, attach into your clavicle. Mana? The open lateral end of clavicle. Lateral ends of clavicle. That is your posture your open shoulder. Okay. Okay. So after you know what you can show this is the upper fiber of trapezius. Oh, upper fiber of trapezius. Right? Yeah, the shoulder muscle, right? That's why you slow exercise can get upper fiber of trapezius, but yeah. you punya shoulder at the board. Bulla, right? Very big at this area, right? Right, so this is upper fiber of trapezius. And again, Origin station pada stationary bone, am I right? Insertion pada movable bone, am I right? Itu impresi yang kita gunakan sebelumnya, right? That's why bila berlaku contraction for this uh, apa sebab trapezius, this insertion akan move towards the open origins. That's why apa berlaku? This cavity akan naik ke atas, am I right? Naik ke atas, right? That kerana kita panggil sebagai scapula elevations, okay? Scapula elevations. That's number one, right? Number two, number two plus. This middle fiber of trapezius, upper fiber of trapezius, bukan sahaja dia boleh angkat your, your, your clavicle lah, ke atas so that you boleh lakukan pergerakan sca, uh, uh, scapula uh, elevations. Bila once this muscle contracts, so apa yang berlaku is this inferior angle of scapula boleh move upward. Boleh move upward. Kita panggil sebagai upward rotation movement. That's why upper fiber of trapezius ada dua functions. Satu, Angkat your scapula elevations. Yang kedua, rotate your scapula laterally. Kita panggil sebagai upward rotations. Upward rotations. Please make a move. Sama yang macam ni. Alright. Pegang ibu apa faham trapezius. Tolak atas. You can see at that muscle contract. Ada ada tu. Jika ibu apa faham trapezius. Because why? These are the movement of upward rotations. When you perform this motion, this is upper rotation, upper rotations where your 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 upper fiber of trapezius are can kind of contract. That's why the more movement you lakukan like, macam ini, right? Okay, which means you put something berat, right? You tolak ke atas, right? So this kind of movement is to develop your upper fiber of trapezius. 
right? We call it as a shoulder press. Shoulder press movements, right? Shoulder press movements, overhead motions. It's very, very important into, into, into uh, strengthening your upper traps here. Alright? That's number one. Upper traps. Yang kedua, kita pergi ke pasangan traps yang seterusnya, which is kita panggilkan middle fiber of trapezius. Middle fiber of trapezius. C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. Sampai sini ada upper fiber. Dekat mana mulanya you upper middle fiber? Dekat sini. T1. Apa itu T1? Thoracic vertebrae. Thoracic vertebrae number one, thoracic vertebrae number two, number three, number four, and number five. Please ingat benda tu. T1 under T5. T1 under T5. This is origin untuk middle fiber of trapezius. Di mana this middle fiber of trapezius, basically dia sangat-sangat parallel. Dia sangat-sangat selari dengan scapula you are. Middle fiber ni. Dia parallel. And from here, middle fiber of trapezius origin from T1 under T5, this muscle akan insert into your acromion process of, sorry, attach into acromion process of scapula here. Okay, see the blue color? Yes. The blue color adalah insertions. The red color adalah origins. <coughs> From here, attach into your acromion, acromion process, process yes. of the scapula and that muscle, the direction macam ni, sangat parallel dengan scapula ni. That's why bila this muscle contract, this muscle contract, tak akan ada pergerakan yang lain. Except your scapula move towards midline. Eh, more right. Tertarik. Apa pergerakan tersebut? Kita panggil sebagai retraction. Yes. So the muscle untuk retraction adalah retractor muscles. The retractor muscle adalah definitely you open the middle fiber of trapezius. Right? It's a rowing movement. This is rowing movement. Eh, more right. Okay? So your scapula close together. And yeah, so this is by contraction of middle fiber of trape trapezius. Next, right? Next, this is your T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, and T5. Start from T6, T7, T8, T9, T10, T11, T12. and T12. This is origin for lower fiber of trapezius. Lower fiber of trapezius. Here, very big muscle. These are the, the biggest muscle of trapezius. Lower fiber of trapezius. From here, this muscle akan running diagonally upward and attach into your Fine. spine of scapula. Yes, attach into your spine of scapula from here. So that muscle macam ni reach mana? Diagonally, right? And again, when this muscle contract, you will faham this muscle from below origin insert di atas your scapula, di atas your spine. Bila that muscle contract, apa lagi? Your scapula akan move downward ke bawah, turun ke bawah. So this kind of motion we panggil sebagai depressions of scapula. Okay? Depressions of scapula. That's why that author kita panggil sebagai depressor. Lower fiber of trapezius. Okay? Lower fiber of trapezius. At the same time, at the same time, this lower fiber of trapezius, they target your spine, they target your open spine. At the same time, ini menyebabkan your scapula, your scapula boleh move upward ke atas. Boleh move upward. So which mean in order to produce upward rotations, right? Upper fiber perlu contract, lower fiber pun perlu contract. Alright? Yes, definitely. Upper fiber perlu contract, lower fiber pun perlu contract. This is what we call it as a uh, force coupling. Yes, force coupling. Different muscles produce same motions. Alright? Okay. Yes. This is fine. This is your scapula. So this is our rotation of the glass. Yes. How to produce our rotation? Satu, upper fiber trapezius akan tarik macam ini. Yang kedua, lower fiber trapezius akan tarik macam itu. And the third muscle nanti kita akan bincangkan adalah serratus anterior. So these three muscles akan act together bertindak sama-sama untuk melakukan rotation movements. Alright, macam you staring, right? Staring. Alright, okay. Satu from here, satu from here, satu from here, satu from here. You tarik different area so that you boleh produce satu contraction yang sama. So ini yang kita panggil kan force coupling, right? Force coupling, right? So by three contractions, listen here, three contractions. There are three muscles which is produce up rotation. Satu upper fiber of trapezius, yang kedua lower fiber of trapezius, and the third one nanti saya akan bincangkan adalah serratus anterior. Yes, serratus anterior. Serratus anterior produce upward rotation movement. They are upward rotator muscles. Upward. So which is in order to produce this motion class, it's not easy sebenarnya. Because dia penting untuk melibatkan three muscles yang penting sebenarnya. 
Okay, upper fiber of tracks, lower fiber of tracks, and the serratus and anterior. Faham? Plus that makes us. Now, I think I terus touch serratus anterior. Since I touch the berkaitan dengan abu rotation, serratus anterior. This serratus anterior, you know, kerana nama serratus, bukan seratus. Bukan otaknya seratus fiber, bukan. Serratus means serrated. Serrated means dia berjalur-jalur otak ini. Alright, I would say that this masa macam satu masa yang sangat-sangat seksi. Why seksi? This otak attached pada your punya ribs. Kau nak kasi ni dia attached buat bone. That's why kalau orang-orang yang fitness more the right, just dia ada lateral posing, lateral pose, side pose, lebih side pose. Please do side pose. Apa dia buat? Dia buat ni, dia tak boleh jadi. And they try to contract and lift on the right. Jika nampak wow ada otot bukan bukan tulang muscles kasar that muscles and close your opening ribs you clearly nampak wow very sexy muscle kat sini right okay which is the uh, this muscle serratus anterior kita panggil sebagai boxer muscles boxer yeah these are the boxer muscle right kalau for those yang suka menumbuk right this muscle akan boleh develop right kalau boleh develop because ketika you menumbuk right you akan lakukan this motion see you brace you boleh pegang here No, like this one. What means this motion? Like okay, this motion, motion. This is what we call as a protraction. Ni protraction. Relax, protractions, protractions. That's when you will pump these muscles. Ni, look at this area. All right. Hopefully you don't cross the line, right? Don't tell me you become fat. You become fat, right? If my daughter says that thing, but right, okay, definitely under us, it's not your right. It's not just anterior, right? Okay. So this muscle again, please remember, we call it as a boxing muscle. In the book, I said again, no more. This is worldwide use. We look at the anatomy. It's not just anterior, it's a boxing muscle. Like this muscle, dorsi, it's a swimmer's muscle. It's worldwide use. So like this muscle, we look at the raja. It's important to look at the boxing motions, lah. Look at the punching. You check, okay? So itu adalah otot serratus anterior. Jika mana otot serratus ni dia punya origin. Origin this otot serratus adalah pada yang awak punya ribs yo. Ribs. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth ribs dia attach. Origin. So you can say that upper nine ribs, upper nine ribs atau superior nine ribs, which is rib number one atau rib number nine. Laterally, laterally. And this muscle akan running here. You can see it's serrated. Dia berjalan lor. Serrated, serrated, and this muscle akan cross your opening scapulas pada bahagian anterior. Yeah, they can attach. Nampak tak? They cross your opening subscapular fossa over here. They cross your opening subscapular fossa and attach pada your opening middle border over here. Okay, attach into the middle border. Which means, apa yang dibayangkan? This your scapula and this your subscapular fossa and here your your subscapularis muscle. Then baru juga di pasaran anterior. Nampak tak? Pelapis lapisan. So long smooth. This is scapula. Right? This is your scapula. Your scapula. Anterior surface. Your scapula. Here you can see subscapularis muscle attached. Am I right? Yes. From subscapularis muscle, then baru you can jump all the stratus anterior. Attached at this area. No problem. It's a sandwich. Right? Your ribs. Your ribs. Stratus anterior. Your subscapularis. And your baru you that that baru you pin bone structure. Your 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 scapula. So stratus anterior attach into your middle border of scapula, attach into this area, middle border of scapula. Okay, from here attach here. That's why when this muscle contract, apa berlaku? Your scapula akan move anteriorly ke depan. Akan move anteriorly so that this is the most powerful protractor muscles. Protractor muscle, which is your serratus anterior. Don't forget, dia juga penting untuk dilakukan pergerakan upward rotation. Itu adalah otak serratus anterior. Boleh follow saya kelas? Yeah. Saya explain about trapezius first. And second, saya explain about you all punya otot serratus anterior. Third, saya nak bincangkan mengenai otot levator scapulae. Okay, levator scapulae. I think by its name, you can explain something. Levator means elevate. Levator means elevator. Levator means means raise your scapula. Scapula means your scap, your your scapula, which means this muscle is responsible to elevate your scapula. You, and this small muscles, this is small muscle. This muscle origin from where? From your cervical vertebrae over here. Cervical vertebrae from the lateral side. Cervical vertebrae, lateral side of the vertebrae. C1, C C1, C2, C3, C4, 
uh, sorry, C1, C2, C3, and C4. C4. And this process, this projections of the vertebrate is what we call as a transverse process. Transverse, transverse process. This is what we call as a transverse process. Transverse process of C1 and C4. What is C1? Cervical vertebra number one and cervical vertebra number four. Right? So that one is we call it as a uh, we call it as a cervical vertebra number one and four, which is part of the European transverse process. So from here, this muscle are like running diagonally downward, and this muscle you can cover by upper tracks. Okay, this is your upper track, it covers by upper tracks. And it attach insert into your scapula. Pada bagian mana? Pada bahagian you all punya ini. This area. Ini. Ini adalah your middle border. Betul kelas? This is your middle border, right? So you can say that middle border. Pada bagian mana? Pada bagian superior. Superior area. Superior medial border. Superior medial border. Just above to the spine. This is the whole this middle border. This is your middle border. Which part of the middle? Bagian superior, this area. Just above to the spine. This is your spine, am I right? Superior to the spine. So this area becomes attachment site or incision for the levator scapulae. Levator scapulae. So from here, you can imagine from here this muscle attached to this area. Small muscles. And when this muscle contract, I think it's very, very easy to understand when that muscle there can run in such a uh, 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 such a uh, supra inferiorly, atas and bawah. When this muscle contracts, Ini menyebabkan your scapula akan move up, upward so that it to melakukan pergerakan elevation of the scapula. Please understand first class. Okay, please understand. Okay, itu adalah levator scapula. Right, next, rhomboid. Ada soalan sekarang. Now, how many muscles you learn? One, two, three, four, five. Five, am I right? Now, we, kita pergi ke six muscles, which is rhomboid. Okay, rhomboid. Why this muscle number rhomboid? Why, class? Pardon? It's in a rhombus shape. Definitely, it's a rhombus shape. Okay, you know rhombus shape, class? You know rhombus shape? Okay, listen here, right? This rhomboid, rhomboid, we call we have two parts, major and minor. Why major? Bigger. Why minor? Small muscles, right? The rhomboid major and minor vascular origin from where? Again, your vertebrae. From here, your vertebrae. Right? It origin from here. C7, start from C7. Okay, C7. C7, T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5. C7, T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5 origin. Alright? And from here, this muscle are running and attach into your medial border. Medial border. Alright? Which part of middle border? Start from the spine, inferiorly, ke bawah. This is spine and right, glass. This is spine, inferiorly. Mid this is the middle border, just below to the, in to the uh, spine of the scapula. So the whole thing, it become incisions for the rhomboid major. Sorry, uh, incision for your rhomboid muscles, your rhomboid muscles. Your. So which you understood? The whole thing is your 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 middle border, superiorly level the scapulae, inferiorly this is the rhomboid muscle attached here, and your rhomboid muscle basically have two fiber, one major, one minor. Saya bagi tahu tadi juga your adalah origin untuk rhomboid adalah C7, T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5. C7 and T1. Minor. This is for minor. C7 and T1 untuk minor. Yes. C7, T1 seolah balik untuk rhomboid minor and this muscle running diagonally and attach into the middle border of scapula dekat mana dia attach? betul-betul dekat level of the spine middle border, level spine kita panggil sebagai root of spine, this area root of spine these are the beginning of your spine so middle border dekat bagaimana? root of spine nampak tak? the small one, this area, the blue color here so these are the origin, sorry, insertion for your rhomboid minor. minor. And again, C7, T1 untuk rhomboid minor. T2, T3, T4, and T5. From here, it's running diagonally and attached into your medial border. Just below to your spine, inferior to the spine. 
Here, the blue color here. The blue color here. <coughs> yes. Middle border inferior to the spine. So these are the incisions for your rhomboid major. 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 This is minor, this is major. major. And that muscle must need to be to look at it. And bentuk dia adalah bentuk rhombus. Rhomboid shapes. Right? You need these muscles, okay? <coughs> and these muscles, since you don't have to look at it in class, right? So again, when this muscle contract, apa berlaku? Scapuloid akan move towards midline, logic. Move towards midline. Untuk apa kelas? Which cut? Which 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 movement yang boleh produce? Reduction, abduction, abduction, retraction, retraction of the scapula. Retraction of. Now class, please listen here, class. This is very logic. You not directly memorize this thing, right? You understand why this must produce this kind of motions. This muscle from here attached to this area. When that muscle contracts, again, this origin, this incision, the incision moves towards origin. So what happens to your scapula? Yeah, I can move up near to the midline. Am I right? So you can produce retraction motions, retraction movement. Bersama-sama dengan mana kelas? Bersama-sama dengan kalau punya middle fiber of trapezius. Middle fiber of trapezius. This is your rhomboid. This is your traps. Middle fiber traps. Biasa dia adalah satu superficial, satu deep. Alright, so both of these muscles penting untuk apa? Untuk pulling motions, pulling. You as a as a OT, right? The functional movement you can tahu. During these motions, apa yang you buat? Apa maksudnya penting ketik ini? Right, functional movement, rowing movement, rowing movement. Untuk apa? Untuk strengthening your opening rhomboid, major, minor, as well your opening middle fiber of trapezius. Right. So because you all banyak berkaitan dengan dengan functional movement nanti, you right? Okay, you nak sikat rambut macam mana, right? Right. Everything is functional movement. In order to lakukan function movement, you kena tahu specific joint apa yang berkaitan, apakah muscle yang menggerakkan dia. So that's why lebih complicated to do the function. Okay? Alright, so itu adalah wrong with major and minor. So let's study class. Anything? So how many muscle class? Saya touch class. Trapezius, we have three. Lemeter scapulae, wrong with major, wrong with minor. Six muscles. Alright, six muscles. Borrow six muscles. Yeah, right. I think this is it's quite easy muscle to to budge up because why this muscle is very big. The incision origin is very very clear. Right. Next, next we go to the another muscle that we define as like pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor. Pec refer to your your chest or your shoulder. Pec and minor means small. I think you know what is pec major. Your chest muscle. Your pec major. So this muscle I like underneath, di bawah your pec major, small muscles, okay? Your small muscles, and this muscle yes is located anteriorly over here, anteriorly, and this muscle how they attach? They attach by the ribs, third, fourth, and fifth ribs attachment itu lah kau. Third, fourth, and fifth. Some some percent two until four sahaja, alright? It's variations and anatomy, variations, right? Okay. That's why they got the origin of the pack minor adalah 2 to 4, 2 to 5, 3 to 5, originally. Different person, different the origin. Am I right? Tapi saya ambil yang average, which means origin adalah from 3rd until 6th. Dia punya origin untuk you punya pack minor you. Right? 3rd, 4th and 5th origin from here. And these muscles attach into where class? Attach into this process. Coracoid process. Coracoid process of the scapula. Siapa dah berkata sebelum kita dalam lecture? I tell you before, right? This coracoid process of scapula it becomes attachment site for three muscles. One of the muscles are pectoralis minor. Now you understood attachment to another similar other incisions, incision for your pectoralis minor. Origin from the third, from third, fourth, and fifth, your ribs insert into your coracoid process of the scapula, right? So when this muscle contract, when this muscle contract, dia kata orang dia punya coracoid process ni ke bawah menyebabkan you all punya you all punya inferior angle saya tarik ni ke bawah, tarik ke bawah, si saya tarik ke bawah, ini menyebabkan inferior angle scapula boleh move ke dalam. So that dia boleh lakukan pergerakan apa? Pergerakan downward rotation. Downward rotation adalah pack minor. Okay, downward rotation adalah pack minor, minor right? At the same time, at the same time. When this muscle contract, they will tarik your opening scapula ke depan, anteriorly. So that they will assist dalam pergerakan, tarik ke depan. Apa lakukan scapula you? Protraction. So you will tambah, protractions. 
Protraction. Okay, and another muscle that only produce protractions movement adalah otot pectoralis minor. Tapi the prime mover will be your otot serratus anterior, assist by pectoralis mi minor. Faham saya? Ah. Okay, itu adalah pectoralis minor, right? And it covered by pec major over here. Big muscle cover your your pec minor, right? Sure. Means di sini dia bilang assist in forced inhalation. Ah yes, can also can. Okay, listen here. I'll put the forced exhalation. Listen here. Origin from your ribs attached into your scapula, your your contact part of scapula. Normally we understood right. This is origin and this is insertion. Insertion moves to origin. So right one is your scapula moves towards your origin. Am I right? Yes. But you have to understand right. Yang kita bincangkan semua adalah normal actions. Kita ada kita panggil kita reverse actions. What is reverse action? Origin move towards origin insertion. Boleh boleh jadi macam itu. For example, I give you a basic example. Let's say that muscle origin from here insert the your pelvic radius here. Normal movement. Apa yang berlaku? Bila dia contract, you can feel this motion. Boleh ke? You open origin ini bergerak towards insertion. Boleh ke tak boleh? Boleh. Boleh. Contoh, you pegang bar here. Your form static. Apa yang buat? Arm you bergerak towards your forearm arm you. Oh. Yang benda yang saya buat betul betul tang tu. Saya bergayut tu right guys. So one of the reasons saya bergayut adalah untuk apa? Untuk strengthen saya punya biceps saya. Ya. Yeah. Nampak tak? Origin bergerak towards insertion. See? Boleh jadi macam tu. Tetapi so ini bergerak kepada pack minor y'all. It's a reverse action. Which mean the insertion move towards origin. Apa yang berlaku? Bila ini berlaku adalah ketika bila masa ini berlaku ketika ini kita panggil sebagai proses yang kita panggil sebagai forceful exhalation you hembus nafas secara paksa so kalau you tak nafas itu adalah normal normal action right yes. kalau you tiup lagi ah dia tekan this is forceful exhalations in order to produce forceful exhalations you perlu engage dengan certain muscle lain antaranya apa pectoralis okay. minor so pectoralis minor penting untuk bila berlaku reverse action this rib akan bergerak This rib, sorry, bukan exhalation, sorry, 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 saya terbalik Inhalation, ya, sorry, inhalation, inhalation So, ulang sebelah kelas, saya betul-betul tentang saya Pack minor engage ketika bila? Forceful inhalation Ini menyebabkan rib you akan lebih bergerak secara Upward and outward, keluar Tapi, you faham that prinsip, right? Ketika you breathe in, inhale, your rib kisah akan move Atas, keluar Upward and outward Alright, kalau you you inhale, you exhale inward and downward, am I right? So in order untuk meningkatkan lagi your body rib cage naik ke atas, so otot ini membantu. So pectoralis minor penting untuk membantu dalam keadaan forceful inhalation, where this muscle can contract and move your rib cage naik ke atas, upward and outward, assist di dalam forceful inhalation. Deep breath. Itu ketika ketika forceful, ketika ketika normal breathing tak ada. Because why? Ketika normal breathing, you hanya engage dengan dua otak sahaja. I think you tahu buat otak kita. Otak apa? Sekolah yang belajar, kelas. External, intercostal dan juga diaphragm. Okay, so, alright. I think the most family mass yang you belajar lah, sekolah dia lah, kan? Diaphragm? Yes, I think diaphragm lagi family, am I right? Diaphragm dan juga otak external, intercostal. This too much poly contract, tetapi assist by pack minor. Kalau di dua otak kontrak sahaja, dia akan berdiri macam mana? Itu sahaja. That's why, bila how lakukan force in Malaysia? Ni. Apa tak? Rikish makin ke atas. How dia boleh naik ke atas? Dia boleh rikish ke atas. One of the muscle yang perlu kontrak adalah this otot. Kita panggil sebagai otot pectoralis. Yes, itu lah. Assistant muscle atau accessory muscles. Accessory muscles. Alright. Next, we go to rhomboid clear, strata enteric clear, rhomboid clear. We touch about the what is auto in it bagus bagus subclavius, subclavius muscles, right? Subclavius. It's a depressor muscles, depressor. What is subclavius? I think this muscle is very small muscles. It's very small muscle. How they attach? They attach but with the your opening first rib over here. They attach by the your opening first ribs over here. They attach. Okay. And from here, origin from here first rib. And this muscle akan running oblique and attach dekat bagaimana? Inferior surface of clavicle dia attach. See? Very small muscle over here. So, apa dia punya fungsi dia? Bila this muscle contract, your clavicle akan depress ke bawah. Alright? So, you boleh katakan dia penting untuk apa? Depress of muscles. Depression. At the same time, this muscle, same tipe kedudukan dia adalah parallel. Parallel means dia selaring. 
Apa tumpukan di otot? Penting untuk stabilkan kerurukan clavicle ni.